Hey guys, today we are going to give you a full tour of our brand new home, the Seawind 1170 home number Uno. And her name is Lori Sue, named after our two moms, the most special ladies on this planet. And she is super, super special to us, and we can't wait to show you around. So this boat, Seawind 1170, is 39 feet long, 21 feet 4 inches wide, and has a draft of 3 feet 9 inches. So this is our fifth cruising boat that we've ever owned together. All of our boats have been pretty dang old. Our youngest boat, besides this boat, was Adrenaline, our last catamaran, 1988. And this is our first time we have a brand new boat. We're so freaking excited. And this is gonna be our full-time home, live board, cruising boat for the foreseeable future. We worked really hard to get here and we're just happy to be back living on the water full-time, no longer in limbo. And we cannot wait to bring you along for more adventures, but first we gotta show you around. We're gonna be doing another video that much more detailed spec video. We're gonna talk a lot more about the systems on the boat, the specs, the tankage, uh, some of the detailed uh, sail controls and just a lot of that more technical stuff. So if we don't go over that in this video, make sure to comment, let us know what you want to see. So we make sure to include it for the next tour video, which will go over a lot more of that detailed stuff. Okay, come check her out. All right, guys, we'll start on the outside of the boat. I'll give you a whole tour of the whole outside and show you what's what in this area. I'll take it from there and show you the whole inside of the boat. Uh, so we'll start off in the very bow up here. Generally speaking, first off, these decks are just super wide, relatively flat decks, and all the hatches are flush mount, which is pretty cool. And they all have little channels around the hatches with a little channel that drains out just to help drainage around the flush mount hatches. Um, just one of the features that I've been liking so far on this boat a lot. If we look at the very, very front of the boat, first off, you can see we have a full-on carbon bowsprit with no stays to the bowsprit. It's engineered to handle the loads on its own. It just gets inserted through this super strong Londron. So on the end of the bowsprit, we fly our asymmetric spinnaker. That's been probably our favorite sail so far. Second favorite has been the screecher here. We have this big screecher for reaching and slightly more upwind work in light conditions on a continuous furler. And that's mounted right on this Londron right here. We've got our nets. So here's where our anchor comes up on the uh, roller up in there. Right through here to our anchor windlass, which is housed right up in here. We've got our fresh water wash down hose. Our bow seats, our dolphin watching seats up here, which we've been using so far. So just in back of the trampolines, we have a ton of storage. Three big, massive storage compartments. In here, we have all our fenders and dock lines. I'm just gonna take everything out so you can see how deep it is in here, how much stuff we actually fit in here. So we got four of these monster fenders, a bunch of lines. And just a whole bunch. And then, on top of that, we have four of these flat impact fenders, just in case we need some extra fendering. So you can kind of see how deep the well is there. And that's all three of these wells are just that deep. Fit a lot of stuff in there. So we go back on the boat just a little bit. We have our, our jib sheet track right here. So that's really nice when we tack. We don't have to do anything with the jib sheets. Um, the jib just tacks right on its own. And then on the mast up here, we have our jib halyard that doesn't really move at all. And then we have our uh, spinnaker halyard right here, our screecher halyard, and that's really it. Just the lines, our jib halyard, we don't really touch much. Our screecher halyard, we don't really touch much. And then if we're up here launching the asymmetric spinnaker, that's where we have this halyard right here. We can use this winch for any of these lines if we want. Um, and then everything else gets led through these turning blocks, through the turning blocks on deck, and then back to the cockpit, which is really, really, really nice. One of my favorite parts of this boat so far is uh, this massive roof. So it's it's the cabin top, the cabin roof, goes all the way back over the cockpit and extends even further. And the dinghy supports are mounted underneath the, the cockpit roof. First off, we have these lips extending all the way from the back of the uh, coach roof all the way forward. And then this nice channel here that catches rainwater 
And then we have a little through hole right here with a little nipple under here so we can detach our water hose and then run it to our water tank, one on either side uh, when it's raining so we can catch rainwater. Oh, look, a rainbow. But come check out how massive it is up here. Well, obviously we have access to our stack pack. We can unzip it, um, get the halyard on the mainsail, get ready for sailing. Um, we have 960 watts of solar up here and room for more, like 960 is more than we've ever had. And you could add, I don't know, 600 more watts or whatever, maybe more. And then just our main sheet track right back here. And then right here on either side, we have a window we'll show you from down below, but you can see up um, through that up to the main cell or even the head cells, depending on how you look through it. We have a little step right here that you can get up and down, hold the shroud all you do. So our boards are just strapped to the stanchions right now. But we're gonna get our magma racks and have really nice spots to store our long boards and uh, Sierra stand up paddle board that are out of the way. So one of the things Sea Wind is known for are their massive front opening hatches. Um, this one's closed, that one's open right now, but we'll show you from the inside how big they really are. As we walk back on the boat, um, you can see still some more flush mount hatches and then all our lines running through some deck turning blocks all the way back here. until we get into the cockpit. So dual helm, um, we have engine controls on one side, but you can get them on the other side. And everything we need right here to control the whole boat. We have our anchor up down, uh, windlass switch right here, um, our B&G electronics, our Yanmar controls, everything we need. This whole thing comes out. And we got a nice little home for it right here. locks into place there, just with their structure they have built in there. Now we can access our B&G chart plotter and it's way easier to see. We can see through the whole entire boat, through all the windows, or if you want even better visibility, just stand up right here and you can see everything. Um, so this is where we've been steering from, either this side or that side, depending on what point of sail we're on, where the wind's coming from. These helm seats have been so freaking comfortable. Like, so Sierra, Sierra and I can both sit on these next to each other, even Jetty scoots in the middle sometimes. And not just from there, you can put him back and we've had guests on the boat already so far and our guests can be hanging out and we're just hanging out talking to them, just, I don't know. Or maybe the sunset setting in the back over there and just a really, really, really nice place to sit and hang out, super comfortable. First off, to get up in this helm seat, you can step here or you can step here. I don't know if this is made to be fully like stood on, but we've been fully standing on it to get up into this helm seat and really, really nice. Um, and then right here, we have all our line controls and everything as well. So we have this built-in compartment that houses all of our lines. We have our topping lift, our um, reefing lines. This is our main sheet, uh, screecher sheet and uh, mainsail halyard. And then we have all our clutches right here, easily accessible, and then whatever winch we need. Most of the time we're using this uh, big Lomar electric winch. This is something that we've never had before, uh, along with a lot of this stuff. I mean, having everything in reach right here, right where you're steering from, all the clutches, the two winches you need, really accessible. And then especially electric winch has been a dream. Uh, it's been making this boat really, really easy to sail. Winch handle right here, just in case. And on this one, we use the winch handle. And then we have like over here, we have our screecher continuous furling line. And then we have our, that's the block for like for our spinnaker sheet, uh, life ring. All right, so you come over on this side and you, it's unlocked. You lift it up and you have the world's biggest cooler down here. Right now we have some gear stored in there, but I can't, I don't know if it's gonna come off on camera, but it's it's this tall, that tall, and like, it's huge. And then there's a little drain plug in the bottom so you can drain it right under the boat. It's the world's largest cooler. Um, before we go any further into the cockpit, let me just show you over here. Massive transom steps. Um, we have two lifelines that we put across for when we're sailing, when we're offshore. 
Uh, got a couple rod holders. Our transom shower that we used a couple times so far. So just take that off. Shower right in the back of the boat. And yeah, just this is something new to us as well. Just really huge platform back here to get off the dinghy onto. And just, I don't know, we might be flying fish back here, showering, whatever. As we come up from here, we have our traveler control right here. So winch the traveler to port or back to starboard or lock it in the middle. So it stays where you want it to. So we're sitting here sailing, like I showed you before, we have these windows right here so we can see the whole main sail or we can look this way and we can see our head sails as well and just make sure those telltales are, are flying nice. Navigation compass right there, uh, shore power right there, and then emergency bilge pump. Hopefully we never have to use it, but if we do, it's right here at the helm. We could even be helming and pumping the boat out. We come back to the back of the boat here. We have a little grill. Wimpy little thing, jury's still out. We don't really like it, but we'll see. We haven't used it yet. Something that we weren't expecting, we were expecting the Australian cookout that has been on every other Seawind model. So this is new. It looks really nice, it looks a little small. So jury's still out. We'll let you guys know how that works. Uh, but underneath the grill here, we have a whole bunch of storage. Sierra's got all our cleaning supplies down under there. And then back here, just a huge seating area, big long seating bed, which three, four, five people easily, or three people and a dog, whatever you got. And uh, just in back of me here, we have our dinghy uh, hoist brackets. So our block and tackle lift our dinghy, and then some little brackets here that the tube of the rib sit in. Um, we got a squid light option, so we can shine that straight down the water, hopefully attract some fish, hopefully some, some squid, make some calamari. They sloped th this whole cockpit, so it kind of slopes to the center and then fore and aft. So this whole thing under here, it like it blends in with the floor, but it's uh, all drainage under there. So it's a big drainage channel, um, a few big through holes that just drain out right under the bridge deck. And then same thing right here, we got a little uh, drainage grate. So anything that comes into the cockpit just drains right out of the back of the boat. Comfortable, safe feeling cockpit. When you're in here, you feel locked into the boat. Um, yeah, that's been really nice so far. We've done a few hundred miles sailing and yeah, it's been, it's been really nice. I'll show you on this side, obviously you saw me take that window out. This window comes out as well and fits right in its little home right there. And again, they're locked in, like be rough as can be and it's not coming out. Again, manual bilge pump, two winches, and then obviously some more control lines over on this side, our jib sheet, our door, our out haul, and our reef number two on this side. And then under this helm seat, which is the same thing, as the other side. You pick this up and you have a little bit of storage on this side. We've been putting some safety gear in there and then obviously our propane gas that's sealed. This is all sealed and then that is vented overboard. So it's uh, to all the ABYC and CE standards. Here's one of the features that really made us like Sea Winds in the first place. All their boats have this. It's the trifold door and it turns the whole salon area into a big open cockpit salon, indoor, outdoor, just huge open area. So I come in here, I can open this door and then we can lock, we can secure them shut here. And then we can open it further, go here. Locks right into place there. And then we come over here and wherever you want to do it from that side, this side. Jetty's still not sure about the track angle. Just 
push it up a little and then the safety bar comes over. And then we can even let it down, let it rest on the safety bar and make sure that clutch is closed and we're good. Try pull the door. So outside, inside, but still kind of outside, still kind of inside. So again, we've had guests on the boat so far and we can be here or sitting here in the helm seat and be having a conversation with someone over in the corner of the settee over there. Obviously this is our home. That's our family car, our little SUV, our dinghy hanging out back there. And yeah, that pretty much wraps up the tour of the outside of the boat. We're gonna let Sierra give you guys a tour of the whole inside of the boat, which starts out here on the outside. Okay guys, welcome to the inside of Lori Sue. We will start in the salon. Huge seating area here, it's just awesome. We've had, like Billy said, tons of people over and just so much room. This whole table goes down and makes a big bed here. And then this area, um, in our offshore sailing, we've been using this as like a little twin bed so we're close to the helm right here, just in case anybody needs anything. But under all of this is storage and this can move and be another seat there. So big, awesome area for game nights. Um, this is our nav desk. So also our editing desk, but we have sea zone here. We've never had that before. We've really been liking it, being able to keep an eye on our water tanks, our fuel tanks, our batteries, all of that jazz, and being able to control stuff from it. So that's been awesome. And another BNG display right here. So the person inside, not on watch, can kind of keep an eye on what's going on outside. And then our control panel. Right here we have our wings of class, tricolor and anchor light, bilge pumps, high water alarms, USBs. Down here, we have been keeping Jetty's food and water bowl. In here is all of Jetty's food, treats, medications, toys. So that's all nice and easy to access. Her bed is right under there. Up here, I got some baskets that kind of match the couch um, and just extra food storage right there. We'll show you the galley in a second, but now let's go show you our side. So in the aft, we have our walk-in shower. Amazing. The only other boat we've ever had a walk-in shower was on Mountain Mist, but all the other boats have been wet showers or no showers at all. So this is a major upgrade for us. Super nice. So open close. So this is a Yanmar 3YM30. We have two of them, one on the other side. We'll show you as well. And right here is our holding tank. Okay, so I really do love this shower. This is super awesome. And then something we've never had before is electric flush toilets. <laughs> so all of our other boats have always been manual pump. And when you're out there for multiple days, like if we're doing a long cruise and it's super rough, we're coming down into the holes and then you gotta like pump it. It's really freaking annoying. So having a button has been awesome. Back here we have an awesome opening hatch, great ventilation in the bathroom. Um, sink, built-in sink. I have just have a little basket with all of our stuff. And then we have lots of storage down here. And then as we walk forward, we have storage on both sides. I've been trying to organize this as best as possible. Baskets on top, towels, towels, computer stuff. Then in here, we got our games and our camera equipment and just lots and lots of goodies. Here we have access to all of our electronic equipment. That's our NEMA backbone and our fuses. Then and down here we have our water pump and accumulator tank. Oh, it's not clean. Stuff. <laughs> Over here we have our big giant tripods that don't fit anywhere else and our exercise equipment. And up here we have our Starlink and all of the other electronic stuff. So we have our master volt solar controllers and our, our charger inverter. We'll keep going forward. Up here we have our room. So queen size bed, much more headroom, which we love, two fans. Um, other thing that's new are these little bedside, like, I don't know, little cubby areas. And I keep my Kindle in mine. And then like our little projector that we have to watch movies. And then we have all storage under here. You can check it out. My side, Billy's side. Here, even more. 
Okay, we've always had an issue keeping our hats anywhere. I haven't found a hook yet to hook them up, but now how cute are these? We got two of these so each of our hats can hang and not get smushed or sat on. Under here, we have more storage. So we've been keeping our laundry basket there and tons of storage up here, which is all of our shoes. Closet for hang goods. This goes super far forward and we also have all of our wetsuits, our foul weather gear, our backpacks, camera gear. And then in here, even more storage. We have all of our extra towels and linens and all that jazz, as well as our like cold weather stuff because we're headed north. And then another awesome thing about in our room, we have this giant hatch and that giant hatch and they both have bug screens or shades, whichever you fancy. Um, so nice ventilation in here. Let me show you up here. Ah, so such a great space. We really do love it. Jetty wants to come up. She's jealous. <laughs> She's jealous. <laughs> so we really do love it over here. The hatch right above our head is awesome. Fans pointed on each of us. So nice breeze. We are going to get air conditioning. It has been so hot. Um, we got the boat plumbed for it, but we're going to put it in once we come back down from headed up north after hurricane season. Um, so it'll be a little cooler, but we figured as we're headed up north, we'll just enjoy the breeze. Okay, so how beautiful is this view? Waking up, looking out, if you wanna get up with the sun or if you wanted to sleep in a little bit, we'll just shut this. And at night, we've been doing this because my mom got us this awesome projector. The wall is all white, so we just face it there and we watch movies at night from bed so it's super awesome we've been doing it forever on our little mini ipad so having like a big screen has been super cool and then down on the floor is the bilges obviously there's tons of space in here we haven't put anything in the bilges we want to keep that as empty as can be but lots of space we've We've done our best to limit our things and not have too much stuff. We want to keep the boat as light as possible. We are splurging on some things like AC, water maker, and that kind of thing. But our actual stuff, we've been trying to limit to make sure she still sails well. Um, now we can go to the other side. Okay, this side is the guest side. We have a galley and two gas berths. So right in the galley, this space has been awesome. Giant opening hatch right above the stove in the oven. So it keeps it relatively cool in here. Our little organic matter, if we're out and anchored not by people, we can just throw our little onion heads over or whatever. Freezer, really big. It goes really far back. Um, so we have lots of goods in there. It will be awesome for the Bahamas when we get back to catching fish. And then we have our refrigerator in here. It, it actually fits more than it looks like, so that's been really good too. And then up here we have storage upon storage upon storage. And like I mentioned before, we have our baskets up here that hold more food. And then silverware. Cutting boards, blender, coffee maker, water bottles. And then in here is all of our plates and bowls and cups, pots and pans, serveware. And then down here we have all of our bakeware, salad bowl. Been trying to stay as organized as possible. Okay, after the galley, we have guest room number two. Back here is a double, um, but Great space. My family's coming soon. My mom and dad and my sister. So my sister will be back here and my parents will be up front. So we have lots of room for guests, which we are super excited about. Main reason we wanted this boat. Under this is engine room number two. Um, so, so if we lift this up and then lift these up. Under here is the other engine, as you can see. And under here, we have our water heater and some extra storage. Behind this door is a little closet. We 
also have a fan back here, a light, and they have a hatch back here yeah. that opens up. So that gives some good ventilation. We have a little bug screen for that. And then we also have a nice hatch right here. So you get a little bit of a breeze. Under here, we have some storage too. Right now we're just holding some drinking water because we haven't installed our water filter yet. So just some gallons of water down there. So if someone had like a duffel bag, they could fold it up, sh shove it in there, and then put all their clothes in the little closet. Now if we go forward, that's guest room number one. Why is that guest room one and the other one's guest two? So this is guest room number two because it's smaller. So if we only have one guest coming, they're gonna be in the main room. If we have two guests coming, then they'll be back here. That one will just get more use. <laughs> okay, now here is our main guest room. Guest room number one. It's a queen size bed, two fans, hatch above the bed, storage right under here which is super cool this is new and then we have a little closet behind the door a couple little shelves a little place to keep towels and as we go forward we have a whole nother head it is actually a wet head, so this is a shower. A little sump drain right here where you just pull the little nozzle. It's another whole electric head. <laughs> yeah, super exciting. If we open this up, you can see our waste tank. Hatch for ventilation right above. Little mirror, store un storage under the sink. Okay, so you notice we don't have an AC yet, but we're getting one. We haven't showed you our water maker. We're going to install one and my washing machine is missing, but we are going to put one in. We just haven't figured out the best space for it yet. So it's coming. If you have any ideas where I can put a little mini washing machine, if anywhere you saw, let me know. Hey guys, thanks so much for coming on this tour with us. Our next video is going to be the full on commissioning process. I know we're going backwards a little bit, but we had to hightail it out of Florida to get out of hurricane season as per insurance. And we've been going nonstop. So yes, we are fully up to date, but next week you'll see the commissioning process and then you'll be completely with us full time for the near future. All right, guys. Well, thanks for watching this video and we'll see you next time. Let us know what you want to see in the future, what you liked about this video. We'll see you next time. Sure.